you think about it, it's funny what happened to the music industry when Napster came on the scene in the early 2000s. It basically destroyed the entire business model that the music industry had for years. Well, we've moved a lot from pirating music into streaming music with different services like Songza, Google Play Music, RDO. And that's basically revitalized the music industry because we are now paying for the subscription to listen to millions of songs online. But what do you do with those old speaker systems that you've had since you were a teenager? Do you get rid of it to get a new Bluetooth speaker? Well, you don't. And you know why? Because of this baby right here. This is the Google Chromecast Audio. And it's basically going to take your old speakers, connect it to a Wi-Fi network, and bring back it to life in this digital streaming world. Just going to do a quick unboxing to show you what it looks like. Again, very, very simple to set up. Everything you need to get started is right here on the side. In about three steps, you're going to be up and running. And it's all happening from this little baby right here. Kind of has a nostalgic look to it. Looks like an old vinyl record. You can see it's got the little grooves over here. It's super small. All you need to do to connect it is to basically give it power, which you can see right over here. It charges through a micro USB. It has to be connected at all times. There is no built-in battery, so this will always need to be plugged into a power source. But after that, you basically got to connect it to your speakers. Most speakers have a typical uh, audio jack, like you can see right over here. But this could also support RCA and optical inputs as well, if that's what your speaker is uh, supporting. So basically, you just have to connect the audio jack right here, connect this into your speaker, and ensure that this is powered through the micro USB. From there, it's going to connect to your Wi-Fi network. It supports both of the bands, 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz band. So if you have a, a dual band router, and you should, you're going to be able to uh, take advantage of both those frequencies. From there, you would use it in conjunction with your mobile device. It can be anything from Android, of course, because it's Google, but you can also use an iPhone, an iPad, and um, it's something that I really like about Google because typically, you know, Apple always tries to lock everything down. You could only use it with an, an Apple device. This is pretty much open. And from there, you could use something like, say, Google Play Music, and then you press the cast button and then send that signal to your speaker, and you can basically take an old speaker and give it wireless connections. So if you, like me, are someone that subscribes to a subscription-based service and you listen to all the music on your phone and you want to take advantage of your old speakers in the home, you got to get the Google Chromecast Audio, a $45 device that will bring life back to your old speakers. Check it out. Thank you.